Are you a person of size and thinking about traveling? If you are, keep watching. What's up, Fantastic Family? It's your girl, Fantastic, and I am back with another video. If you are a woman or a man of size and you are thinking about traveling, you're on the right channel and you're at the right video. Um, I feel very comfortable in making this video because I too am a person of size. So these are just a few tips to help your flying or your vacation just a little bit easier. My first tip would be buy you a seat belt extender. They sell them all day on Amazon and I'm going to link it in the video and in the comments below. Um, a seat, ex seat belt extender is an apparatus, it's like a belt, just like a seat belt in a car, and it connects to the, it connects to the seat belt that's already there, which is usually anywhere between 16 and 18 inches, and it varies from flight to flight. I have been on a Delta flight and the first leg of the trip, my seatbelt made it work. And then when I changed over to the next plane, it didn't work. Um, but if you're like me and fly whoever has the best rate, you may have to get two seatbelt extenders um, because Southwest most airlines they have like the triangle triangle shape on the end but southwest I, however they got the two triangles so get you two seat belt extenders one a universal and then one that is specifically for southwest and you will know it's specifically for southwest because it has the double triangles on the end instead of the small the um, one however if you are not in a position to buy you a seat belt extender what i do sometimes as soon as i get on the bus when the flight attendant greets me i say hi i'm in seat number such and such such and such can i have a seat belt extender i do this whether i know the seat belt fits or not in most cases they'll go in the locker and hand you one but sometimes they will say um what seat are you in when everybody's seated i'll bring it to you and then they'll come down the aisle and sometimes they'll just come down the aisle does anybody need a seat belt extender you know before takeoff either way get you a seat belt extender another tip this is also why flying is um if you're a person of size when you book your flight in the special accommodations or messages you can put wheelchair and what they will do they will meet you with a wheelchair when you come out of TSA and they will wheel you all the way to where you're supposed to go when they do the special boarding for military or people traveling with children or wheelchair you will board the plane first which is good however if you have an aisle seat and someone else has to get on a plane 
getting on the plane early may be a little worrisome. Um, which is another tip. You are a person of size. Sis, bruh, get that aisle seat. So you ain't got to be squeezing, trying to get by somebody in the event or whatever. Get the aisle seat. You'll have a little more leg room. Um, you can spill over so you won't be smushed like a can of sardines. Just get that aisle seat. I recommend, you know how they call zone one, zone two, zone three. Kind of wait around and get on the plane last. If you get on the plane last, everybody else has been seated. And they'll go ahead. And if you so happen didn't get the aisle seat, uh, and there's another passenger, you can ask them, hey, you want the window? Most of the time, they'll say yes and move on over. My last flight, I got on pretty early. And another girl, she got on and she was by my side. I said, now why they put us together? And she just started laughing. And we looked behind us, which was the exit row seat. I said, they should have put us there. Which brings me to my next point. Take the exit seat. If you are on Southwest, a plane that does not have seating assignments and you are not traveling in a wheelchair or with children, take that exit row. It's always bigger. And I was like, I should ask, can we move there? I want this to plane full. I said, but they're going to want us to save somebody's life. Because what will happen, they'll come to you when they give the instructions and they'll be like, I need a verbal response. Will you assist with passengers getting on and off the plane in advance? A child, look, I ain't trying to say nobody, but no, nah, I'm just playing. But you have to be willing to assist with other people getting off the plane. And that's what the young lady, she moved to the other seat. So I had my seat by myself. She had the wider seat behind me. She had it to herself. So it worked out fine. If the plane is not full, just ask to move. There are airlines that are not fat friendly. And they require you to purchase two seats. However, Southwest Airlines... You can purchase two seats, but if the flight is not completely full, once you land, you stop, you know, talk to somebody, call, hey, I just got our flight number, such and such, such and such. I'm a person of size. I purchased two seats and they will automatically refund the money for the second seat. So Southwest is one of those airlines that is friendly to the fluffy girls like me. <laughs> the fluffy fabulous girls like me. So we know seatbelt extender either board first or board last. Take the aisle seat Southwest. Another tip. Go on the plane. I mean, go on the web to seat s e a t g u r u dot com. Seat Guru has a um seat seating chart for every plane. You can go on there and look and see where the seats got more room at. You know, if it's an exit. And when you booking, you know, you can look at that and book the seat with the more room. So that's a tip. Uh, another tip is wear something comfortable. 
if you require support socks put your support socks on but were you something soft and cottony like this instead of jeans if you wear jeans um wear the dreaded jeans with the rubber in the waist or you know some pants with a you know in case you're swelling from being compact or whatever sis bro wear you something nice and comfortable cute doesn't always have to be painful um I would say another tip, take that swimsuit, sis. Pack those swimming trunks, bro. Don't be scared to, um, if you're going somewhere where it's sunny and there's a beach involved, don't be scared to take that swimsuit because if they watching you and looking at you, how you look in your swimsuit, and they not enjoying that good beach. They losing out and you winning. They can't possibly be having fun. You miserable if you sit up you sit up there worried about I got a roll right here. And my leg, sis, you ain't having a good time. You need to uh check yourself. Um what's another good tip? Let's see. Board early seatbelt let them know that you're a personal size ahead of time um exit seat aisle seat um when available if the plane isn't full just simply try to move to a seat even if it means going to the back that no one is on there so you can enjoy your row by yourself remember southwest has a different type of end so if you are purchasing a seatbelt extender make sure that you are um, getting one if you fly more than one airline um boy last take your swimsuit don't be sh scared to let it out enjoy yourself and have you a fantastic vacation and that's all folks bye